I'm Nikki Cooper. I'm a housewife and mother of three children, two boys and a girl. Um, I have two grandsons who are absolutely amazing. Um, my life before the accident was fantastic because I used to go out a lot and enjoy myself. I did a lot of um, hunting, beating, shooting. I used to do all the countryside stuff that we do. And I used to be a healthcare assistant, which I really, really enjoyed. Um, the accident itself was on, as far as I know, it was on a Wednesday morning. And I was I was uh, alone in my car and I was waiting to turn to my right hand drive so I was going to a meeting for work. And the next thing I knew there was a, a white van had hit the back of my car. I remember changing over the details for the insurance details, but after that I don't remember anything about it. Saturday morning, um, I was waiting to go shopping with my daughter and her fiance. And the children were in the front room, the two boys were watching TV. And then the eldest one, George, he heard a bang in the kitchen. So he came running in and he realised that I was lying on the floor and he couldn't wake me up. So he ran over to his nana's house, which was two doors away, which was quite lucky. I was told that I had bleeding on the brain in four different places of my brain, which is on the, the first there. And I was in a, a, they call it a waking coma, which is, I'm awake, but I'm not, not understanding what I'm doing. And I was in a bad way, apparently. I got bad severe wish plash and I was very lucky to be alive. I've got a few things that affected me for full time, well, for the rest of my life, basically, and that's, the one is my memory, which is quite frustrating because I did try working full time, which I couldn't, I couldn't do it for full time because of my memory, I kept getting forgetting things to do. Um, also, my taste and smell, I've lost both, so I don't enjoy cooking anymore, I don't enjoy eating, which is really bland, so it just doesn't taste of anything, and, you know, my fatigue is really bad. I got to a point where I got so low, I'll be honest, it, I, I just wanted to end it all, I really did, because I just couldn't, couldn't, just didn't like my life the way it was, I just couldn't do the things I wanted to do anymore, um, I couldn't be the person I wanted to be. On the day of my accident, I actually came home and I did all the, I rang up the insurance and said about the accident and sought out the hire car and everything, and I can't physically remember doing any of it at all. But then I was, my husband used to say to me, oh, you, you know, you're gonna, we need to go say, and then I had to go and see different specialists and then met Rose and Access Legal. Rose made me feel very comfortable actually because she's really, it's really good because it was very hard work for myself and for Rose because we had to get a lot of information off either either of us and she needed to know as much as she could about what happened to me and all the documentation and everything like that. The settlement has helped me an awful lot. It's made our life a lot easier. It's helped the family and it's helped us to move on. We've been able to go on holiday to Australia, which is a place I've wanted to go for a long time with my family because I've got relatives over there. And we've actually moved into our house, which we brought, which is one thing, the main thing I wanted to do, which is now I've done. And it's it's just made everything so much easier in life. It's it's made our future a lot easier because we've got something, we know we haven't got to worry about anything so much. Rose has been amazing. She's helped me a lot. She helped me an awful lot and we've become friends and, you know, it's been really good. And also Access Legal, they did everything, they were brilliant, really good. I wouldn't be without them, I really wouldn't. Mm -hmm.